بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما The network devices can be managed either via in-band, in-band management or out-band management. Now the basic difference between these two is like in-band management, we got two different types of traffic. Let's say I got a computer and there are two different types of traffic. It is connecting to my network, to my LAN and connecting to a router. And there are two different types like this user the this pc is actually trying to send some traffic on the on the internet or outside network somewhere this is your normal data plane traffic so the actual traffic which is moving moving to the network like this user is act, trying to access some resources on the internet or maybe on the remote lan so this is your normal normal traffic we can say i can simply say the normal traffic now other kind of traffic is like this user is trying to access this device remotely either by using telnet or maybe using ssh for remote access now this is or maybe maybe there is a console we can also say console this console the user is trying to connect a console cable to the router and trying to manage the device now this this kind of traffic we call as management plane traffic or in simple words we can say management traffic now these two traffics if if these two traffics are going on the same interface we call it as in band management which means let's say i got a user here maybe you got some asa here or, or some, some device let's say this is my asa firewall or or maybe a router and i'm using my computer to tell it to this device so tell it is nothing but your management traffic at the same time i'm using the same interface same interface is also sending the traffic uh, to my lan also at the same time so both the management traffic and the and your data plane traffic is going over the same interface and we call this as in band management now in band management means uses the same transit path or the same interface for user traffic as well as the user traffic for both data plane as well as the control so generally the normal interfaces like lan interface or the wan interfaces it can be an ethernet interface or maybe a serial interface these interfaces can be used for both management as well as the normal traffic but whereas if you are using two separate interfaces like the simple example is we have a console port and this console port is a dedicated out outbound management or out of band management interface Now using this console port or auxiliary port we can only do management but we cannot use that interface to forward any kind of uh, data plane traffic so we call this as out of band management so console auxiliary ports comes under this category so your network traffic the normal traffic is completely isolated from the management traffic and mostly every device supports a console and some devices like asa firewalls from cisco or some of the high end devices like uh, maybe ucs devices or some asr 9000 series routers they have a dedicated management port now this dedicated management port is uh, more similar to your normal ethernet port uh, it looks like g0 by 0 or f0 by 0 normal ethernet port and this interface can be connected to my computer or to my switch and we can assign an ip address to this device and i can remotely access or manage this device from this particular port means i can use telnet ssh or maybe gui based uh, we, we, i can i can manage the device via http or some other other methods like snmp so but this port is dedicated for management just like console the only difference is console port do not require an ip address it's a, like a serial connection you you just connect the port and and apply some settings and you get to see what is happening on the device but you can also manage by using dedicated management ports because most of the management is done remotely and you can either use in band management but probably the in band management there is some security issues like you are you are trying to manage your network which means you are using the same interface for both 
management. Now this interface can be used for management traffic as well as my network traffic. And probably if, if there is any attacker in your network, maybe he's trying to capture this traffic, which is really, uh, which is uh, not good again. So just to make sure that uh, we, we are isolating the traffic, a normal traffic with a management traffic, we can have a dedicated management uh, ports, which can be only used for management purposes. Now again, in, in terms of management, like inbound management, or even it can be out of band management if you are managing remotely, not via console. Probably there are two different ways. Either you can use a secure device management. Now secure means you are when, when you're using this computer and managing this device, maybe an ASA or a router or maybe a, a switch. So the entire session is encrypted. Like if you're using SSH, it's it's more secure. That's what we call a secure device management or management traffic is completely authenticated and encrypted. And it is a preferable method to use because if you're using any non-secure device management methods like Telnet or HTTP or SNMP, uh, older versions like version 1 or version 2C, the, the complete management traffic will be going in a clear text, which is really not good because anyone sitting in the network, if he captures the traffic, he can extract the contents. So in today's networks, it's really not recommended to use this non-secure device management options. It's always preferable to go with the secure device management options like using SSH instead of Telnet, using HTTPS instead of HTTP, and using SNMP version 3 instead of using the older SNMP versions.